Number 1 Everyone knows that face boots and silver edge can pass through units, but did you know that they can also pass through wards as well? This is pretty useful when you're being ward trapped by, I don't know, Shadow Shaman for example. Number 2 Just like Serpent Wards, you can control the focus of Plague Wards and Death Wards using the attack command, you know, right click. These can also be commanded to stop if your auto attack is disabled and you press the stop key. But keep in mind that if you're using Witch Doctor to do this, you have your ward selected, not the Witch Doctor. If you try to do this while your Witch Doctor is selected, well you'll just stop casting your ultimate and your team will hate you forever. Number 3 Bottle crowing is a serious pain, especially since they reduce the movement speed on a courier carrying an empty bottle. And if you find yourself without a rune, shit can get pretty sticky. Fortunately, you can refresh a bottle by giving it to an ally that just teleported from the fountain. This is because the fountain aura is sticky and it takes 3 seconds to wear off. This being said, you can also use a couple bottle charges after teleporting away from your fountain. Number 4 Do you think Ravage is stupid? Well, get a Blink Dagger to stymie that pesky tide. You can blink over the expanding ring of Ravage. Just make sure you blink far enough as the expanding ring is actually a couple hundred units in width. So the best thing to do in this case is actually just to blink as close to the tide as you can after he casts it. The same can't be done for Shiva's Guard though. Uh, no matter where you blink, when it's expanding, it will get you. Number 5 Bloodstone reduces your spawn time by 4 seconds per charge. This is common knowledge. Therefore, if your respawn time is instantaneous, continuous effects that are cast right before you die can persist once you respawn. An example of this is Timber Chain. Here you can see I actually managed to get one off while suiciding. It's actually pretty tricky to execute, but I've noticed that if you're within range of the original Timber Chain tree and you respawn uh, instantly, then you'll continue on through to it. But if you're out of range, then you're pretty much just fucked. I guess this is only really applicable if you're near the fountain, but I mean, if you're already being fountain camped, then I guess this is kind of cool. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate the view and uh, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or thought it was helpful. As always, leave comments down below letting me know what you thought of the video. If you have any other questions regarding Dota 2 mechanics, also leave them there. I will see you guys in the next video whenever you happen to catch me there. Until next time, you guys stay chill, stay frosty, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.